We're previewing the Thanksgiving Day game between the Packers and Lions, and we know the Packers' offensive line kind of been beat up and bruised recently. They're going to get up against maybe the most intimidating defensive line in the league in the Lions. Will that O-line hold up? Well, I think there have been cases when the Packers go to that five-wide package, and they have had some trouble in recent games protecting Aaron Rodgers. So uh, if they do that, they better get quick releasing passes out there. They want to get the ball out of his hands and not have him on his back. Yeah, the biggest vulnerability on that Packers offensive line has been Marshall Newhouse, the left tackle, who's tried to fill in for uh, Chad Clifton. He's done a solid job. Aaron Rodgers back in that pocket. I think he could uh, complete passes with the cardboard boxes uh, <laughs> protecting him. That's how quickly he gets rid of the ball. He's got an explosive arm. He's very good uh, dissecting defenses. So I still think Aaron Rodgers will be okay. The well, flip side of things for the Packers, that defense has really struggled at times this year. A couple of weeks ago they played well against the Vikings. And last week they struggled again against a Bucks team that really isn't a high-powered offense this season. Is it going to be a shootout? Can they hold down that explosive Lions offense? Yeah, I mean, they're explosive in spurts. You know, sometimes they fall into the trap of, of not being able to run the ball. We saw what Kevin Smith did. Look for a lot of crossing routes. That's what Scott Linehan has done to this Packers defense in the past and, and maybe mix up those defensive backs. Some of the uh, Charlie Pepper looked out of place last week, and, and Sam Shields had a rough fourth quarter. So some of those guys might be out of place a little bit. The Lions racked up nearly 500 yards of offense the last time these two teams faced off. Kelvin Johnson is very explosive. Titus Young has come along. So I think that they definitely have that explosive element in the offense to capitalize on the Packers' weak defense. I mean, we had talked about that it was likely going to have to be a shootout for this Packers team to lose. We saw it a couple of weeks ago with the Chargers. They came close to that. Is this going to be the week that they finally get their loss? Yeah, I'm drinking the cranberry juice, the Kool-Aid, whatever it is. I think the Lions actually get this one done. Maybe in hindsight we'll look back and Green Bay will be glad. They don't have to worry about the 16-0 talk. But I think we see a shootout, and I think with the Lions come ahead by one score. Yeah, I really think it's going to set up uh, the, the evening game very nicely. I, the Packers will go down, and we'll see this game uh, having some implications for the NFC uh, playoff race, home field advantage. Yeah, the Niners just still one game back, and a win not only would snap the Packers' win streak, but also would snap the Lions' losing streak on Thanksgiving. That's been seven in a row. That's a preview of the Packers and Lions for the best coverage of the NFL. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.